Now, just before we get started, I want to tell you that I have created an amazing course for you guys to learn how to analyze your favorite Instagrammer by yourself and create his look for Lightroom Mobile by yourself without needing me. So just check out the link under this video and have a look at my new course I created for you guys. Now let's get started. So Lewis.Chris, you told me about him. I checked out his Instagram and fell in love with his look so much that now I'm using it for my own Instagram pictures as well. So I think I found out a way to come really close to the Lewis.Chris look by only using your smartphone and the free Lightroom app. I'm using it on my pictures as well, so if ever you've been wondering how I edit my pictures, um, I do this imitation of the Louis Chris look as well. And uh, without further ado, let's jump right in and get started. So first of all, we open up the Lightroom app and choose a picture. I took this picture in Barcelona because I think I chose it because I think it's the Louis Chris picture style. So we hit the light on the bottom of the bar and then we look at the curve. Now just try to imitate this curve as it is. Um, just put the five spots and then set the first spot up a little bit and the last spot down. And in between I want you to create a soft S curve, um, a little steep in the beginning and then, and then just soften it out towards the end. And um, once you have this curve copied as it is, uh, we're done, so you hit the done button, and then we uh, pull down the, the contrast in the picture a little bit, in this case to about negative 20. Um, the highlights as well, we want to pull them down to about negative 21. Uh, we want to pump up the shadows a little bit, about plus 24 is good. And the whites, we also want to pull them down to about negative 16 and as well the blacks we want to pull down all the way to negative 25 so uh, we're good with the light we hit the color tab and we pump up the temperature to about plus six and now the saturation uh, this is where the magic happens once again we pull it down to negative 42 looks good and now we hit the color mix on the upper right and start with the red tones we want to push up the hue into the orange area to about plus yeah i want to push it up plus 13 and um, the saturation we want to pull that down to about negative nine the luminance, we want to pull it down, in this case, negative 14. Now jump over to the oranges, which are really important for the, for the skin tone. So we want to pull down the hue to about negative 7, the red area. And the saturation of the oranges, we want to push that up to about plus 7 to make it pop a little more. And the luminance, of course, we want to pull that down to about negative 12 just to get a, a dark skin tone. Now for the yellows, we want to pull down the hue to about negative 27. Uh, the saturation, in this case, all the way down to negative 100. Uh, the luminance, we want to pump that up a little bit, make it brighter. Uh, in this case, push it up all the way to plus plus 60 is good, I think. And um, then we jump over to the greens. Now, we wanna leave the hue as it is, the saturation all the way down to negative 100 and the luminance as it is. Jump to the aqua tones. The cap in this picture is an aqua tone. So what we wanna do is uh, is pull down the hue to make the, the cap look a, a little bit more green and uh, we pull it down to negative 50 and we pump up the saturation to about plus 14 and uh, we want to pull down the luminance to make the cap a little darker to about yeah, negative, negative 9 is good. So we jump over to the blues and this will affect the jeans in the picture. 
Uh, what we want to do here is uh, pull down the hue to about negative 14. And then we want to pull down the saturation as well to about negative 33. This will make the jeans look a little gray washed out, which is a nice look we want to achieve for the Louis Dacris. And the luminance of the blue, we want to pull it down to negative 9 as well. Then we jump over to the pinks. And in this case, we want to pull the hue all the way to the blue area, negative 100. The saturation down as well to about negative 31. And uh, the luminance, we'll leave it as it is. Jump over to the purples or the pinks now. Um, and push it up, push up the hue to about plus 29. And pull down the saturation of the pinks to about negative 55. Perfect. So we're done with the colors and uh, we jump over to the effects tab and for the Lewis Dacris look we want to push up the clarity. So we want to push that up to about plus, uh, plus 28 is good and dehaze a little bit just to make it look a little darker in the tones to plus 21 and um, hit the split tone on the upper right and we want the highlights to be in the blue area so we pull it over to the blue area I guess and yeah, this area right here is quite nice uh, a hue of 223 and a saturation down to about 14 and now the shadows we want the shadows also the skin tones which are the shadows um, to be a little more red orange so we pull the hue into 28 and the saturation down to seven seven should be good for for this picture and then balance it out into the blue area a little bit so pull it to the right um, to about plus 10. Now we're done with the split tone and all we need to do now is hit the details for all of you who have iPhones. I think Android doesn't have the detail option. It's not that important, but if you have it, you might want to just soften out the skin a little bit by um, going down to the noise reduction, pulling it up to about 19 in this case, and also the color noise reduction to about, let's say, 16 is good. And we're done. This is it guys, another tutorial has ended. I hope you're happy with the, with the result that we have of this Louis Dacris imitation look. Um, I'm super happy, as I said, I'm using it on my pictures as well. And I think this is the best look that I came across so far. If there's any other Instagrammer you'd like me to take a look at, just shoot me the comments, write me a DM on Instagram, send me an email, or maybe also check out my website that is uh, linked below this video where you can find the course that I made for you to analyze your own favorite Instagrammer and create a filter based on that Instagrammer. Have fun checking it out. I hope to hear from you. See you next time. Peace.